We're into round one, heat 12. Three-time world champ Mick Fanning, the headliner for good reason. He's earned it. He's one of the best of all time. He's had a lot of wins on his championship tour career. 22 to be exact, to be on that front page of the all-time win list. Kelly finaled here the next season in his 11th world title year. Here comes Mick. Just a quick up and out. Still on? <laughs> still and the on. clock was still running. Having a look now, the local legend, Frederico Marais, big takeoff. Doesn't get the barrel, so he's got to get out of there. Only made a heat, but he went all the way to a quarterfinal finish to change the world title race. Frederico drops into a, a section to pull in on. Just a quick little cover up, and now he's down the line. Big hack on the forehand, and he'll get out any nerves that's why he's so confident going into stuff like this tucks under nice little cover up right there squeaks out the front and then unleashes the beast boom big snap there from marias geez we've seen a lot of that and it's given him a lot of success so far this year good move here catching a wave on the way back out just making sure he gets a, a quick wave under his belt the crowd love it bang right there that big trademark turn from frederico let's have a look again so it just stomps on the tail, throws spray up into the sky, free falls out of the lip. So Frederica Marias. Keeping more hungry to get the, to the tour. Uh, oh my God, oh my God, Mick Fanning. I wish, well, I don't know. So tough to recover from. This is what got Tiago really excited, Potts. Yeah, well, why wouldn't you? Mick Fanning just sneaking under the lip on a bomb. And uh, talk about bomb, that score matches. Mick Fanning just slides into that one beautifully, takes off super late. He's so good at this kind of stuff though, Joe. No bottom turn, just angles the board, knifes it straight into the barrel and then comes out standing tall. Wow, that felt good. I mean, these are the kind of waves that, you know, you heard, you heard Tiago talk about, the diamonds in the rough. Well, there's a diamond, an absolute cracker of a diamond. He would have had the heat with Owen in the semifinals, had the bye because Owen blew out his eardrum. There were some crazy early round matchups, some wild conditions, and Mick took the podium. And Ian Gavaya desperately needing a result. Here goes Mick again. Feeling the rhythm, Fanning locks in. He's deep on that section for just a quick cover up. Now looking for maneuvers. There's that wind up drawn out car for Mick. Just had the nine under priority. Well, I mean, one of the most likable guys on tour. Looks after the younger generation whilst going for uh, another good result here this year. Comes out of that one. Look at the style. Look at the style that Mick's got right there, just hooking into that one. So Mick Fanning backing up that nine. Slides into the barrel. Doesn't quite get as deep as he would have liked and had to come out of the front of the wave, but then hooking turn there just to finish off. So not a bad little score, just about to be locked in for Mick. 0.50 is what they both, both need. And while we're doing that replay, Frederica Marais pulls into a chunky wave. Almost comes out the end of it. And now back to live action, pack in the pit, super deep. It looked like Ian Gouveia potentially trying to run after that exit. So the goofy foot just hucking himself over the ledge. Ian Gouveia, free fall drop. Bottom turns, pulls in nice and deep, driving through that section. And unfortunately, that wave just straightens out and runs away. Have zero combination for both Ian and Frederico. Minute 20 to go, Govea maybe on his last effort to try to change things around here. Sometimes the goal for these guys that are comboed are just going to leave the beach with a big score. To... <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? And he's still surfing like he can do it here. As we'll take a look at the last wave from Frederico Marias, the local boy will be a dangerous competitor into the second round with a big reputation when it comes to competing on his home court here at Super Tubos. About an hour drive from where he grew up down towards Lisbon. Fanning breathes a sigh of relief. He could call it a day with a lot of damage done with that nine point ride. Backed it up with a 6 5, and will take a big win to finish off. Round one action coming up next.